you know, I may not have much of a platform, but the small platform that I am building for myself, I have to make sure that I stand up for what's right and what I believe in. I can't respect myself as a man otherwise. With that said, let's talk about Philando Castile. The cemetery shed so many tears. Uh, I suffered through the years and shed so many tears. It's been about a year now since Philando Castile was killed and shot in the passenger seat of his car on a warm Minnesota day by an officer who was apparently fearing for his life. <sighs> I almost don't even have words. On today, which, uh, what is today? Today is Friday, forgive me, and it is the uh, June 16th, which just so happens to be Tupac's birthday. On this day, the officer, Geronimo, I don't care to pronounce his last name, and uh, you know, I don't really care to speak his name because it's not about him, but he was acquitted today of all charges, uh, dropped of all charges. He's not gonna be seeing any jail time. He's not gonna be serving any justice for what he's done to this man. <sighs> this is a really big blow to the black community to the pro-black community black lives matter all of that jazz it really just kind of sucks and i want to talk about why it sucks and talk a little bit about the black experience and the reason why you know along with talking about hip-hop video games i also have to talk about these sort of things because as a man if i don't talk about these sorts of things then i'm no better than the people who commit these crimes if I don't stand against it. As a black person, the black experience is very real. And what Geronimo did to Philando Castile was pure murder. And if anybody says otherwise, you can click off of the video now. I don't really care much, but I'm definitely gonna stand up for what's right 100% of the time. The part that really gets me is the fact that there's a video a video that pretty much displays everything that happened. Everything except, you know, the point where he got shot. But the wife did an excellent job of telling exactly what happened and an excellent job of not changing her story, which I give her props for holding it down like that. <sighs> and for this guy to get away because he said he feared for his life. How? How did you? How did you? What? I don't understand. I think there's something in dreadlocks that really that really make people fear fearful because I, I, I don't know what it was about Philando Castile that could have possibly scared him in, into shooting him like his daughter was in the back uh, there's so many things but that's just me getting emotional and the saddest part about this all is the fact that it's in Minnesota and of course a lot of people will say oh you live in the north a lot of things don't really happen in Minnesota too fatal like that. That's usually a southern thing or, you know, something like that. No, this is this is home. This is right in my back door. Um, and it, it, it the fight just got a lot realer for me. Philando Castile was shot and killed and murdered in Minnesota. I live in Minnesota. I go to school at St. Cloud State. <laughs> that could have very well been me very easily. I have dreadlocks, so. It just kind of sucks. It sucks hearing about, you know, people who knew Philando Castile. You know, there's a lot of students at my uh, school that went to school where he worked and, you know, talked about how good of a person he was. It, it just really hits home. And, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of people that I'll never really understand. And there's so many things that happen in Minnesota. This is not a free state. This is not a state where black people strive. Well, you know, this is not a state where black people strive uh, as opposed to anywhere else. This is just as racist as any one of those southern states. Especially here in St. Cloud, especially up there in Duluth. Man, there's a lot of places. Anyways, it's, it's just sad. I kind of wanted to talk about it. And uh, when it comes to the black experience, him, which is Geronimo, I mean, getting getting off for what he did it it's, it's a blow to me a black person because like i said it could have very well been me um 
and anybody that knows me knows i don't i'm not even a harmful person i like you know t talking about hip-hop talking about star wars i like being a very casual human being and i like interacting with people it's my thing it's what i do um one thing i could honestly say is uh and it, this is you know not trying to put too much of my business out in the world but talking to the police can very well change your life if you don't believe me just ask some of the people i know like i said i don't want to put too much business out there but talking to the police can be fatal to your life um and i'm not just talking about being shot and killed it can literally change your life you know there's a lot of things that's happened over this past year that made me realize and open up my eyes to this justice system that we have in america and how people will protect this justice system even though they know damn well that is wrong and uh it's getting bad out here you know for people who don't understand one thing i want you to understand is for me and people like me we live in a world where if something were to go wrong we could not call the police because we are afraid the police are just going to escalate the situation rather than de-escalate the situation because we are seen as an automatic threat to society that is my experience and this is not an experience i all of a sudden realized after philando castile was murdered this is something that i really live this is something that i've experienced i've experienced this abroad i've i've experienced this right outside this door I've experienced this everywhere I've go because I'm a black man and I'm an urban black man. I know this is the same cry civil rights leaders have been screaming since there have been civil rights leaders, but I'm going to say it here right now and again, the system is screwed. I never really knew and understood what they meant until this year, this past year. It's, it's crazy how you are being automatic, you're automatically being fought against, you know? Um, well, it's, um, I'm just at a loss for words, really. Um, and it just, it, it, just, it, it kind of messed up my day hearing this news about the fact that this guy got away with murder. And all because he had a police badge. And more or less all because the person he shot was just some nigga in the eyes of the police. And uh, it's, it's just sad. It's, it's really sad. It's disappointing. Um, prayers out to his family. I know they're going through it right now. Prayers out to anybody who has uh, been involved in a similar situation. And uh, this is a really good time to support black lives matter this is a really good time to support black lives period you know we really need the support um i think i'm gonna make some more videos about the black experience specifically and why we need more people to stand on on the side of black justice also um this is gonna be the first video that is featured in my pro-black propaganda section um so definitely look out for those i'm gonna have a couple more forgive me this is more of a rant than it is a well-researched video but you know i usually kind of freestyle these things anyway and this is just for the record whether or not you thought he was right or wrong there's no way in hell that man deserved to be shot and killed and murdered in front of his wife and child that's all I got to say. This is your cello dello fellow. Dolo do do do. And I grew up urban. Never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh.
Yeah.